Uh, we're out here for the fourth annual David A. Anderson Memorial Tournament. Okay, I'm gonna lift, ready? Here it comes. Oh, gotta get it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, honey, honey, honey. Get it in the net, honey. Oh, gosh. Hold, hold that in. It's stuck in the net. Hold, hold that in. Honey, look, give me a... Justin Snyder, <laughs> the myth, the legend. Daddy, Get your butt going forward. Back there. You know the game. <laughs> this thing this year. I so like to hear that attitude. Woo. All right, you're looking good, Justin. Oh, Justin's looking good. Well, then what would you say about Mariah? Yeah. Feeling pretty good. Confident? Yeah, caught some good fish yesterday, so just got to get them today. Uh, looking for a good day. It's going to be a nice day on the water. Uh, can't wait to get out there, so we'll see what happens. Some good sticks. Uh, going to be a great day. We, uh, we, we could take this high as last place. <laughs> You know, we were up here a couple days before the tournament here, and we had some really strong winds. You know, and yesterday it laid down. The fishing for us wasn't quite as good as it was when it was super choppy, but I'll tell you, getting around really was kind of nice. Absolutely, I mean, we have 70 boats here this year. This is outstanding. I mean, to be able to go from 44 boats to 70 boats, that just shows you how big this Warrior family really is. And this event is gonna continue to grow every year. But like you said about the weather, it was pretty bumpy on Wednesday, Thursday. Yesterday it laid down, the bite was really tough in the morning. It seemed like things started to heat up in the afternoon. They're gonna have awesome weather today. This is gonna be an outstanding event. I, I predict an ultimate slug fest again. Lots of big fish. Lots of big any, fish. Would you take uh, any idea what the weight, a winning weight it, it's is gonna, gonna be? It's gonna take 45 plus. Okay. Do you think most of the guys are gonna be trolling? Let me ask you that much. I'm gonna say this is Lake of the Woods and it's August. 75% of the field are going to be pulling. Pulling lead core, pulling wire, pulling, crank pulling cranks, yep, some yep, way to get them in. Yep. In deeper water too? Yes, all deeper water. Okay. Working structure or just typical mud flats? Both. Re okay. You're going to see everything. There's going to be some shoreline stuff. There's going to be the, the deep mud and there's going to be deep rocks. So it's going to be a pretty interesting day out there. I think we need to get these guys sent off. So shut up and fish, huh? Let's go get it done. Let's do it. Get it done. Hey everybody, like I always say, hold on to your heinies. It's going to be a great one. Remember, there's no passing until you go through the cut. Remember that? All right, we just pulled up, watched Mike Olson catch 26 entry at 27 and three quarter on the card. 8.43 in the morning, a lot of time left. Fish are getting caught, a lot of boats around us. We're gonna keep cruising around and see what else we can find. Lake of the Woods Beauty, good eater. 
puts us at about 18 pounds, three fish. Yeah, the fish are scattered out here in the basin, but I think if we stick it, stick with it, we might pick out a few more good ones. I've run this warrior since I bought this one from David, uh, and I fished with David forever out of warrior boats, so he was my fishing partner. So I think I met him in 1976. That's when we started fishing together. <laughs> When he caught that big, his biggest walleye, we were together then too. And he tied on a hook and he threw it out there. And he said, that looked just like a piece of candy. I'd eat that. We lost it right away. Reeled it in, put on another one. There you go. Tied on another one. Casted it back out there. And then he had that uh, big walleye. I know it was over, it was over, it was 16 pounds plus when we caught it because it was spitting eggs. And it spit eggs, we put it in the live well. I told him he was gonna keep it. No, this one you gotta keep, David. It's gonna be the biggest fish you ever catch. That one year we sank the boat over there in Garden Island. I bailed out a boat, not this boat, but a boat similar to it with a 20 ounce coffee cup. Dave still claims it was, he claimed it was the biggest wave he'd ever saw. It was big. <laughs> and it came right in the boat with us. I filled it right up. We had to putz behind Garden Island and bail it out. The next day, though, we caught the biggest bag of fish off of Night Island. It didn't keep us down. Not the one we're looking for, but. We, I am Adam Anderson, this is Jason Evenson. Uh, we're out here for the fourth annual David A. Anderson Memorial Tournament. We're only sitting on really one decent fish right now. Um, but it is only 917. We're hoping at the end of the day to at least have 40 pounds. But you never know, fishing's fishing. Um, I know there's a lot of people getting a lot of good fish out on the mud. We're here fishing the um, the reefs, just because that's kind of what we do. You know, you go out on the mud and, and you uh, risk the uh, odds that those fish aren't even around or have moved miles and which direction they're moving and things like that. A lot of guys are pretty good at that. I am not one of them. So we're hanging out on the <laughs> reefs, hoping for. Uh, Nothing, nothing. Hey everybody, Shotgun here, we're up in Fox Lake. You guys requested us to come up and tell us what you wanted to see what Leroy's makes. We're going in, they're making the pulled pork 
pre-packaged that you take with you when you're on the road. Let's go see what it looks like and how it tastes. Holy, she's packed today. So here's what we're checking out today. They have barbecued shredded beef, uh, mashed potatoes, uh, roasted turkey. Comes in a two and a half pound package, you guys, and he said you throw it in the oven for a couple hours and by the time you get out of the tree stand or whatever you got going on, it's ready for you. Very nice. So give Leroy's a call, right? Yep, give Leroy's a call, put your <laughs> order in, and we'll have it ready and hot for you. Beautiful. Okay, there you go, shotgun. Thank you. Lisa. One for you. Let me try this, see if it's worthy. I, I know it's gonna be. Oh, they're delicious. They are delicious. That is really good, and that pulled pork just comes right apart. Yep. Oh, yeah. Mm. You know it's good barbecue when I got half it on my face, right? Oh, you bet. You got to have it all <laughs> over the sides of your cheeks. And nice. That shows a good barbecue. Everybody, this is really, it's in the freezer section. A couple minutes in the oven or on the grill, like she said, it gets hot. This is really good. You don't have to worry about the cleanup. Just throw it away and throw you're done. Throw the pan away nice. and you're done. Oh, <laughs> never travel without your tub of towels. Especially when you just get done eating pork sandwiches. We, we worked for Dave Anderson before he passed. For, well, Jared was for 20 years and I was for about 10. So it, it's kind of cool to be up here for a tournament in memorial him. He was a he was a good guy. The guy liked to fish and he was good at it. Kind of fun to be up here doing what doing what he loved and in his honor, kind of. He's just an all-around good guy. He didn't care about what people thought or anything. He he liked to fish and he liked to work. Yeah, he's just a genuine guy. It sucks he's not with us here, but I guess that's what makes it mean so much for us to come up here each year and, and fish it. Yep. My dad had a, let's see, how long ago was it? Probably uh, maybe 10 years ago. No, maybe more than that, 15 years ago. He had a massive heart attack. And he had had <laughs> a lung boat and he, he, he uh, kind of woke up out of his uh, angioplasty and uh, told my mom and me, I'm getting a different boat. Life is short. I'm getting the boat that I want. So maybe six, seven months after that, he got a warrior from Cabela's from Dave Anderson. And this is the boat that he got. And I fished with him for several years. And he died seven years ago of cancer. And I can tell you, when they diagnosed him with stage four prostate cancer, the doctor had told him six months to a year. And because of this fishing, he lived over three years. And fishing is what kept him alive. That's a better fish. That's a little bit. No upgrade, but it's a nice fish. Darn it. It's been a really good day for us so far. Uh, we're sitting right at just before noon and got just a hair over 40 pounds on the card, which we're not going to complain about. We got one fish we'd like to upgrade, a 25 incher. I think we can get it done. Be a big, big, a big it's been deal. A really good morning. Yeah, we've just been pulling lead core back and back over a, a rock structure piece here, and and uh, just grinding it out. We're getting about one fish every pass, every two passes, somewhere in there, and but they're all big, and we're not out here to catch 19 inches. So, how big is that one? 25 and a half. Nice. We got an 18, 
three twenty sixes and a twenty seven. So we need to get that one big one. <laughs> That's toad. I felt like it right away. Oh, don't say that. We're still good, we're still good. There she is. That's what's exciting. You know, it's a little bit hard for me because I'm not fishing today, but when I can see other people catching fish and see the excitement that is in the, how intense they are, you gotta love it. Well, we'll get down to the last 45 minutes and uh... We got two good ones and a bunch of little ones, and this is a good one. Check the drag here and try not to screw this up. This is one we're gonna want. I got my trusty wife for my net, net, net wool man, and we're gonna just go ahead and get this fish right in the boat, right? Okay, I'm gonna reel to the leader before I lift, and he's off. Well, you guys just seen me biff that nice fish. Uh, we had just caught a 26, felt like maybe a 28, 27. Um, just kind of the way our whole day has went. And when they're biting like that, all you can do is hope they don't come off, try to keep the pressure on them. Some days you're the bug, some days you're the windshield. <laughs> We got a pretty good weight. It's probably the best tournament weight I've ever had, so it should, it's a good feeling. Is there a uh, normal team for tournaments? No. <laughs> this is our second tournament together. Yeah. yeah, we had a good day. We had some big fish, quite a few fish too. Hopefully what we got made it. I'll tell you what, today, Jordan was spot on today, watching the rod tips and getting little bites so we weren't dragging small saugers around. I caught my biggest fish, 26 inches. I know it's not big for the shootout here, but we were pretty happy with it. Yep. I feel like I can go and brag about it. I'm a pro angler fisher woman. <laughs> I can go and do anything now, so. Yeah. I, I would just want to, you know, it's thank you. It's a great tournament. I think it's, I think it does a lot to, uh, uh, you know, just exemplify what the warrior family is all about and it's, uh, it, it, it's friends. Uh, yes, you have a boat in common, but it's a whole lot more than that. My favorite time, food time. Thank you all for being here. It means a lot to all of us at Warrior Boats. First place for $4,500 and a $2,500 certificate towards a new Warrior Boat. They had a 29 and a half, a 28, a 28 and a half, a 27 and a half, and they anchored their bag with a 31 and a quarter inch walleye for 12.89 pounds, 50.93 pounds. Holy Jim man. Jim and Dodie Houston.
Hey everybody, what an amazing day we had up here at Lake of the Woods. And I'll tell you, congratulations, Jim and Doty. You know what, hey, tell us real quick, what were you two doing differently than everybody else? I mean, 50 pounds, that is absolutely incredible weight. Were you pulling cranks, pulling harnesses? We were pulling, we were doing lead core. Okay. Pulling cranks, uh, fire line, and we had two specific colors that were working good. Um, it seemed like doing S-turns was a key. And it was, just speeding it up and, and, yep, and slowing and it down, huh? You know, two years ago, it seemed like when you sped up, you'd get a bite. This time, it seemed like when you'd slow down. When that inside rod would slow down. What was your average speed that you were going? Will you tell us that? Two miles an hour. Two miles an hour, yep. okay. Yep. Oh, we can't. did you guys lose any big fish today at all? Yep. I lost a toad. Did you really? Yep. She caught the 31. Wow. But I, ca I had a toad on that we fought for a long, long time. That's and amazing. 10 feet. She's seen my swivel. Yep. She's going to net it. And it just it just got off. And my, I mean, my legs are shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Instant hot flash. Oh. It was a toad. Is this, have you, have you two fished this last four years? Yeah, last year we didn't, but it okay. we did have since it started. Okay. Yeah. So what really brings you up here, both of you, to fish this? Well, Don't the you? Lake. you just the lake. love the lake, yeah. huh? Yep, it's the best lake in the world. <laughs> I would agree yeah. on that. There's well, I... no argument there. So what are you guys going to do with your winnings? Any idea? Just enjoy the rest yeah, of the yeah, summer? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's awesome. Well, congratulations. Oh, cool. I like <laughs> to hear that. Congratulations on that. Hey, everybody, you know, what an amazing day it was today. You know what, we want to thank all the hardworking people in this country, especially all the doctors. And remember, like I always say, the most important thing of all, it's a great day to be alive. Thanks, you guys. All right, all right. We gotta, I gotta get back and guide. Hey, hey! Who threw away this fish in the garbage like that? You guys, you should be ashamed of yourself, whoever did that. I didn't do it. When I first met Miles Shaw, literally in the first five seconds, he said, if you want to catch walleyes, you got to think like a walleye. Right. And to and think like that. a walleye. <laughs> Eat one. That's not a problem. They're not. Eat it, bro. Bro, bro, bro smiles. Just hey, was that on your lip? <laughs> He's not going to get her down. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that bad. <laughs>